So welcome, welcome to another session of Everyday Mathematics. At Everyday Mathematics, as we always say, we do enjoy solving the harder problems, but above all, we also see and appreciate from the simple problems. So today's program comes from MIT 2024 integration, big quarterfinals number one. Uh, problem three is the focus um, of uh, our attention today, which is the indefinite integral of the determinant of a matrix X1, 0, 0, 0, uh, 1, X1, 0, 0. 0, 1, x1, 0, 0, 0, 1, x1, uh, 0, 0, 1, x. So uh, before I jump onto the solution to this problem, I'd like to thank our subscribers. Thank you so much for the support you've given us. Uh, your support motivates us to come here time and again. Now, to our first time visitors, what we do at Everyday Mathematics, we just go about and around, look for interesting problems. We come back and share with you uh, including the corresponding uh, solutions. Uh, to those of us who are here um, for the second or third or fourth time but haven't subscribed, we do really encourage you to consider subscribing to our channel. So uh, going on to the solution to this problem, now um, obviously um, the, heavy, the heavy lifting really lies in uh, determining or finding the determinant uh, of this matrix. And uh, what um, I usually do is uh, so I do assign um, the signs here. So at the top, if I pick, for example, X as our constant, uh, I have a plus as the sign. And then uh, for one, because uh, essentially uh, what fun determinant is, is taking this out as a constant and finding the determinant of this and then keeping, taking this as a sign for the constant. And then using this as a constant, uh, taking this as our next constant, this is the sign of the constant, and then you find the determinant of uh, this lower uh, rows, excluding um, this row, right? So um, how to represent that is we have X and then we have this here, which is what we sh are showing here. And then we have minus, picking this minus, and then we have a hidden one here. And then now we have taken the determinant of the lower rows, excluding this middle uh, column here. So it's you see one, one, then this one, one, zero, 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 x, zero, x, one, zero, uh, zero, one, zero, one, x, one, zero, zero, jump to zero, 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 one, x. And the same process continues, there's a nested. So again, you pick um, x as your constant, and then, you know, the, the sign, so you continue with that nested approach uh, for the succeeding determinants, right? Um, so what we've done here is we pulled out the X and then now taking this X here plus X and then the determinant of this minus one and the determinant of this lower rows excluding this. And this is what we see here. And here we have one, one. So first of all, keeping this negative here and then we have a hidden one here coming from here. And then we're taking this here, a determinant of that, x1, 0, 1, x1, 0. And then uh, this negative one, taking the sine one here, and then taking the determinant of this lower rows, excluding this uh, uh, column here. And so this is 0, 1, 0, uh, 0, x1, 0, 1, x, jumping this one, obviously. And the process continues, you know, um, again, we have this constant here, and then now we're back here, and then this negative one here, and then we're taking this one, one, zero, x, same thing here, uh, since this is one, one, so we have a hidden uh, one here, hidden one here, and then we have first of all, determinant of this, and then the determinant of zero, one, zero, x, same thing happens for the succeeding. 
And then so we have now uh, the determinant of this a two by two matrix is x squared uh, minus one. And then this is one times x minus zero times one. So x minus zero. This is x times x, x squared minus one. And zero times x minus zero times one. So zero minus zero. Here x times x uh, minus one. Uh, one times x minus zero here. And then here zero. So this this all entire thing is, is going to zero because we have a zero as a constant here. But looking at the determinant of this is x times x, which is x squared minus one, x times zero here, minus times zero, so zero times zero. Okay, so uh, going further, um, we now multiply this x across, so we have x cubed minus x, and then minus this x here, uh-huh. And then here we have x squared minus one, this is zero, so we've kept it that way. And then multiply this x across, we have x cubed minus x minus x here, and this entire thing is zero. And then we continue further, and multiply the x across, so we have, uh, first of all, uh, so bigger pattern, minus x minus x, this is two x here. And then now we're going to multiply this x across, so we have, uh, x to the power of 4 minus 2x squared minus x squared here minus 1. And then here we have x cubed minus 2x minus x minus x. Then the final x goes in. So we have x to the power of 5. And this 2x squared minus x squared is 3x squared times this x which becomes minus 3x cubed. And then we have uh, plus minus minus plus one here times x, we have plus x, and then here we have minus x cubed, and then plus uh, two x. So this and this becomes um, three x, and this minus this becomes four. So we have now the integral of x to the power of five minus four x cubed plus three x. And this is very easy to solve because when we integrate that, x to the power of 5 integrated is x to the power 6 over 6 minus x 4x cubed uh, integrated is uh, minus 4x to the power of 4 over 4, which is the same as minus x to the power of 4. And then plus 3x integrated is 3 over 2x squared plus the integration constant. And this is the answer for this, uh, obviously, initially, uh, visibly challenging problem, uh, but when you do your due diligence, uh, it's supposed to boil down to a very simple expression. So thank you again for your attention. I'm still a little bit under the weather, but uh, uh, math is part of the cure uh, for uh, whatever ailment I'm going through. Thank you. Until next time, uh, to the look, a la prochaine fois.